Here's what I love about human design. Even after learning that I was a projector and throwing an inner tantrum about what I learned of what that meant. What I loved about human design and what drew me to it are some of the central questions that are explored inside of human design. One is, how are you made? What is your design as a human? This question is still alive in me. It's so beautiful because the more, the more you understand about your experience of being human, the more you can enjoy it and better navigate the challenges that come with the terrain. The second thing that I love about human design is that it asks the question, how do you know what you know? How do you know what's right for you? How do you know what's a yes and what's a no? And human design takes that a step further and says that it is not a mental process. Never a mental process is actually one of seven different inner authorities that direct you to this. We'll talk more about that in a future video. But for now, even if you have what is sometimes referred to as a mental inner authority, which some projectors have, human design itself will tell you that it's not your thoughts. It's the mental projector is bouncing off of their environment. So it's sometimes confused with thoughts, but it's not mental. These two questions resonate with me powerfully, and it's still the exploration that I'm in with my client playmates and for myself pretty much every day. I also love that human design focuses on experimentation. It's not about take this chart and follow these rules for your life. The invitation is experiment with this. Discover what this means for you. Live with it. Live your design. Don't make it an intellectual exercise, but actually experience what it means for you. And that is powerful because regardless of how accurate human design is or how relevant it is for you personally, anytime that you reflect for yourself on your own experience, And what you notice about what's happening, it gives a chance for you to hear that inner wisdom. It gets you more in touch with what you actually know and what's true for you because you're listening to it, because there's space for it. And that's powerful. So for these reasons, among others probably, I was drawn to human design. And in the beginning, I did a marketing experiment as a projector. I'll link to it below um, some of what I explored. But for 30 days, what I did was I chose a different marketing approach each week. Only one of them was waiting for the invitation, which is my, um, my strategy as a projector in human design. And the others were different things. Uh, Storytelling. I did one week like a generator, which is like just responding to everything. I tried many different things. I tried intuitive marketing. And then I wrote an article, the one I'll link to that shares my insights that I got from my projector marketing experiment over 30 days. And it wasn't what I expected. I thought I would come away with an idea of what it means to me, like the specific things that I want to do as a projector to market my business. But what actually came to me was more of a sense of how I want to show up and what feels good and what's helpful and what's not for me in business rather than specific strategies, which was interesting. But I think makes sense because that's what living an experiment does. It doesn't prove the points of your chart, it brings things alive for you that are relevant and helpful right now. In fact, some of those things that were helpful for me when I did that experiment look different to me now 
they're no longer so helpful or they've shifted into a new form with my marketing. Might be fun to reflect on that too. The other thing I want to invite um, is your questions. So it feels alive in me, this series of videos about my experience in human design and how I see that we can transcend the apparent limitations implied by our human design chart or created by us, more likely. Those are the real limitations. So I want to know what your questions are. Please leave them below this video if you have questions about human design, about your particular type or inner authority or strategy. I am not a human design expert, but I would love to share what I'm seeing in response to these questions, and perhaps that will be helpful. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.